All right, hey guys, we are back. And we just went out um, to get a sense of what was going on so we could describe a little bit more of what you're seeing. What just happened was really interesting. We got to experience the mules. They run along this little track and little we have- Little trains. Yep, and they are little trains. And it was actually, you can't hear this on SPL, but one of the really cool things is they each have a brass bell on the side, which you can actually see in the bow camera. So there's a line attached. You can see a line coming off the aft camera to the mule that's just out of frame. And then you can see the a line attached to the bow. And what they were doing was as we were moving forward, they were pulling us over to the side. Yeah, and for folks watching, I just really want to underscore the enormity of what we're looking at. This thing is so big. I kid little trains, but the mules themselves are, are sizable. And it's um, just a huge, huge system we're approaching. Uh, I don't know if you've talked at all about the, the difference in sea levels uh, between the Atlantic and Pacific or the difference in tide levels, uh, which is a much more dramatic difference, but um, only about eight inches difference in mean sea level between the two sides, but the tides are dramatically different. Um, you've got about a 15 to 20 foot range on the Pacific side and only about uh, two to three feet on the uh, Atlantic side. Um, love watching these mules. Uh, slide us along and uh, and watching them go up the ramps to the next you know you could see the next level that we're headed for by those ramps so lots of fun um, got a question here about how long it takes to fill up each section of the lock um, I would say what would you say maybe 10 minutes yeah once you're in it it's it seemed like less than 10 minutes